Aslam guys, I found back again with another video. And in this video, what we will uh, do is we will see how we can delete uh, special characters that uh, tend to show up in a file if we have exported data from, say, for example, a website. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to uh, enter some data here manually and uh, some of the cells would have some special characters some of them would not okay so let's see uh, let me just go ahead and um, okay so we have oops name, address, okay, designation. So maybe we have Bob, Smith, John, um, Tyler, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, address, we'll, we'll have some uh, special characters in the address, and we'll put some special characters in the designation let's, well, let's go ahead and put some special characters and names also so we'll put at the date sign here and then we will put an exclamation mark and then maybe we can put a underscore and here we we'll put two uh, ampersands and two uh, at the date sign and then um, ampersand underscore exclamation mark so basically we have put everything in this okay so um, let's just quickly uh, pick up some address uh, 618 dash 1c our lake apartments and here what we'll do is going to be 424-2D main street and let's put in some special characters okay uh, then we have for John we can have say uh, 123 David Lane, and then we'll put in some special factors. Okay, so let me just uh, make a note of all the special factors that we have used so far. It's going to write down a piece of paper because uh, we will be using that uh, list of special factors in the uh, Visual Basic code. So we have the at the rate of sign here. We had exclamation mark and an underscore. Uh, then we have, we've already cut these two, we've got the ampersand and we've got underscore and exclamation mark, we've already done that. Uh, we have the hash sign and then we have the dollar sign, we have the percentage sign. So that's good enough. Okay, uh, now let's put, uh, put in an address for uh, Tyler. Uh, he lives in... 999 Smith Street okay and let's sorry manager and we have a special character here and then we for Smith he is uh, lead consultant and this time what we did was we put the uh, percentage sign in the middle okay here we were putting it at the end so we will show over here and intentionally put it in the middle to show that it can even work in the middle now the only thing is when when, when you delete these lead and consultant is going to you know uh, be one word so let's just go ahead and put one, an extra space here okay uh, 
uh, John. He is a super wiser. Now, hey, intentionally, what I did was I'm not going to put a space because this would end up being one word. I did not want it, this to be one word. Okay. And Tyler, so let's see what is Tyler doing. He is Night Watchman. Okay. So there you go. Okay. And by the way, when I hit enter, it became blue okay so see that that's because of this sign this uh, at the red sign it's thinking it's in the email address it's, a, it's an internet address so i'm going to hit Control z for undo and then we'll just make it into a regular text or you can also do, uh, do remove hyperlink okay so we've got this data that uh, you know that has special characters and now what we want to do is we will create a new sheet uh, and you call this special characters deleted. Okay. Now, oops, I think I put a name here and let's delete this. Okay. Now, this is where what we'll do is this data will get cleansed and all the special characters are going to be deleted. Now, the way you do that is we'll have to add some Visual Basic code. And the way you do that is you go to the develop tab, Visual Basic. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a module. Okay. So there you go. Now, here's where we start uh, writing the code. Okay. Now, and I'll, I'll punch the code and I'll explain as I go. So first thing what we're doing is we are defining a function because we uh, this function is going to delete the special characters. So first of all, what we need to do is give this uh, function a name, uh, special characters. You can call it whatever you want to. I'm just calling special characters removal. Okay. And now what we need, what we'll do is we will within the back, within this bracket here, we're telling what, uh, uh, information we are passing to this function. So what we're doing is, it's uh, text as string, close bracket, and now we need to define what the outcome was. The outcome is going to be string also. Okay. Now as soon as hit enter, what it was, it put the end function here for me. Okay. Now we will define two, va two variables, okay? The first variable that we do is we'll define a string. Now the way you do is you use a dim uh, command and I'm gonna say xx as string, okay? And I am defining yy as a long integer, okay? Now, the in xx, what we'll do is we will define what special characters to delete. Now we have already made a list. That was the other date, exclamation mark, underscore, ampersand, hash sign, dollar sign, percentage. Okay. So what we've done is we have defined what are special characters. Now, what we'll do is we'll set up a, a for, uh, for next loop. So we'll go through each character in this uh, string that we are passing to this function. And we'll go through each character, look at each character, and delete any uh, character that which is found in, in this uh, list of characters, special characters. Now, you can make this as long as you want. And mind you, you have to be careful. If you put in a regular character here, like A, B, C, what that will do is it will even remove those. So you need to make sure that you are only putting those characters that you want deleted. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll set up a for next loop. For yy, yy, yy is the um, uh, function that we find over here as long is equal to one 
to length of xx. Okay, so it basically what's, what it's going to do is going to count from one all the way to as long as the this string is the length of the string. Okay, now text is equal to replace text. Okay, now. We are going to be using the mid function. Uh, what the mid does is you define where the starting of, of a string, you define where the starting character is and the length of characters to fetch. So what we're doing is uh, we are using the mid function uh, bracket x x. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, x x is uh, this guy here, the uh, the list of special characters. Okay, and I'm going to, uh, the starting position is yy, uh, meaning this is the counter that's going to count from 1 to the length of this, okay, comma 1, the number of characters going to fetch would be 1, and replace that with a blank, in close bracket, okay, and I'm just going to indent that a bit, so it just makes it easier to read. And I put in the next. Okay. Now, what it's doing is it's taking that and wherever it finds this, it replaces with the black. And now what we need to do is that's a function name. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll copy here is equal to text. That's where you know, we are making the, the answer to the output of this equal to the, as the output of this function. And that is it. Okay. So we close this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm just going to go ahead and save it in the downloads. Okay. Uh, sample. Special characters removal. And over here, what I'll do is I'll change the type to macro label workbook and I click on save. All right. Now, wherever I want to not remove special characters, I can use that you know, newly created function. Now, this is the data that we have. So let's just copy the headings into the new sheet okay and what we'll do is we will link each cell through that special function to this special data okay so what we'll do is is equal to special character removal see how I just put F, uh, SPE it gave me the function name it gives you the bracket and it would be this guy. That's the data that we are feeding into it. And close bracket, enter. Now, this is just Bob, okay? Because if you see, Bob did not have any special characters. But if I, when I copy it down one more, Smith has a special character, so that special character needs to get deleted. And it did get deleted, okay? Now, furthermore, John has two, and Tyler has one, two, three, four. Okay? So if I were to copy this down to all those got deleted. Okay, now the address. Special character removal. I'm going to link it to this cell here. Close bracket, enter. And I'll just drag it down. And you see how all the special characters got deleted. Now in this case, and in, this, in these two cases, all the special characters are towards the end. So, uh, but in this case, this, the designation, we have, what we have done is we put a special character at the end. We have put a special character and a space in the middle, uh, special characters and no space, and special characters in the starting, special characters in the middle, and let's put some special characters at the end also. Why not? Okay. So now what we'll do is, when we put this uh, function here, 
under the desolation column. I'll link it to this version sheet, the C column, enter. See how the manager had an ampersand at the end, it got deleted. Now when I copy this down, lead, then percentage, percentage, and a space. It left the space in there, but took out two percentages. Now supervisor had percentage, exclamation mark, underscore, and no space. So it made one word. Uh, had uh, exclamation mark, at the rate, night watchman, percentage, 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 man, at the rate. It deleted all those and just left you with night watchman. Now there's a space between night and watchman because there was a space here. Okay, so that's how you can use uh, Visual Basic to uh, delete special characters. And uh, this little, uh, you know, uh, Visual Basic code that I uh, just showed you, this can be used to basically remove any character that you want. Now, let me show you. Uh, if I go back to the Visual Basic, if I go here. Now, if I were to put in, say, for example, one. Oh, sorry, A. Okay. Now, whenever, whenever I hit enter, if there is a, a letter A, it's going to delete that. And that's the upper A. Okay. Now, if I were to make this as an uppercase, because as far as uh, Windows is concerned, an uppercase A is different from a lowercase A. Okay, now instead of Tower Lake with, with an L, lowercase L, a lowercase E, A, lowercase E, K, a lowercase E, I have made the A as an uppercase. And so it took it got rid of that A from there because the um, now I've defined the uppercase A as a special character also. Now, if I were to go back and fix this, And I just refresh, A comes back. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for this uh, video. If you like this video, uh, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you found this uh, useful, if you have any comments or any questions, uh, just put them in the comment section below. Thank you.